Hello everybody, Dark Skeleton here, and today I'd like to take a little bit of time to talk about Varian Ren. Is Varian Ren a OP card or not? And they're adding this to the game as the new Warrior Legendary. It's a 10 mana Legendary, and there aren't many of those, so you're kind of comparing this to a card like Deathwing, just based off a of mana, uh, mana cost, 12 mana, or 12 attack, 12 health, destroy everything on the board, and discard your hand. This guy draws three cards and then puts any minions you draw directly into the battlefield. So the immediate thought would be that you'd play this with a control warrior, and that's probably where most people will play it. So you play Varian Ren on turn 10, or less if you have Emperor Tharzan already on the board, maybe discounting him to a 9 mana card or an 8 mana card, and you play him. You happen to draw into cards like Ysera, uh Ragnaros the Fire Lord. You could even run Ice Howl, maybe. Uh, getting him off of Varian Ren as a 10-10 charge that can attack minions isn't so bad. Can help control the board. Though I don't know if Ice Howl is anywhere near viable. But it's an interesting synergy there. And uh, not so much with Dr. Boom because you lose the battle cry effect. But Sylvanas or Emperor Tharzan are also good uh, cards to get out. Sludge Belcher is probably going to stay in Control Warrior decks. So Varian Ren to get the Sludge Belcher out. Uh, helps prevent you from dying the turn you play him. And even if you just draw spells with his draw 3 effect, that's not that bad. You gotta keep in mind, Ancient of Lore, draw 2 for 7 mana and you get a crappy 5-5 five, five body, that's still played in every single druid deck. Every single druid deck. Um, until they have a druid that can kill people by turn 4 or 5. Yeah, every druid deck. Um, so drawing like shield slams, executes, or something like shield block or the new bash card that's also possible not so great if you throw a cruel taskmaster on the field so you can clearly see that he does have a lot of potential um if you have the chance to play him yeah you'll get back in the game with cards uh drawing new spells that's really good for control warrior because running out of cards is one of the ways that they lose control matchups they just run out of steam and being able to draw some of those spells will help out a lot um, in terms of tempo, you play this. If you happen to get lucky enough to get a 9 mana Ysera or Ragnaros, that's just bloody insane. Um, your tempo swing will just be like, hey, I was losing, but bam, now you deal with Ysera, Ragnaros, and Varian Ren sim simultaneously. Deal with it, bro. And if they don't have an answer to three huge cards, uh, yeah, that's a game-winning play. Now, the problem there is consistency. Yes, this is a dream scenario. Ysera, Ragnaros, Sylvanas off the back of Varian Ren. It's like you got the dream board. You got all this wallet warrior crap going on. And uh, yeah, in terms of tempo, that is a crazy swing that can happen some of the time. Usually, if you're going to lose this control warrior against most decks, it's going to happen before turn 10 anyway. So this card's only really relevant in control versus control matchups. Um, so you're fighting a control deck. What decks come to mind when you think really late game control? You think Priest. You think, uh, Handlock. You think, um, uh, that might actually be pretty much it. Ram Druid, it's, it's not quite as good. It's not as viable. Uh, I mean, maybe you could. Maybe someone can prove me wrong about that, but I, I only see combo Druids in the latter. Uh, so basically it's Priest or Warlock off the top of my head. Maybe Control Shaman or something will become a thing. Uh, so against a Priest, what's going to happen when you play Varian Ren? So you get your Dream Board, you got Ragnaros on it, you got your Sarah, you got Varian Ren. And your Priest has been waiting for you to play your big stuff because he realizes it's Control versus Control. So he sees Ragnaros come down. Oh shit, he takes 8 to the face. He sees Varian Ren. Oh shit, that's another 7-7 seven, seven body. Maybe a Sylvanas. Maybe a Ysera. Uh, what's his response going to be for that? He's going to save Light Bomb. <laughs> He's going to save Light Bomb for shit like this. Now, yes, it does absolutely force a reaction out of him. But say this play fails. Say what happens is that your board just becomes too strong when you play Varian Ren. And he Light Bombs your entire field. You just lose Ragnaros, you lose Varian Ren, you lose Sylvanas. Instantly they all die. They disintegrate to one AoE spell. And then you're like, oh, wait a minute. I needed those cards to win the game. Um, now, uh, you will notice I did take Alexstrasza and uh, Kermash out of this list. 
I don't know which cards are actually best to play with Varian Ren, but um, uh, Alex draws a Losing the battle cry hurts, and I feel like Varian Ren is more of like a board control card rather than a combo deck card. Though uh, getting Grimash off the back of it wouldn't be too bad. Maybe Grimash and her fire. You'd probably want to run Grimash, honestly. Uh, you still have like the uh, death spite play, and you can always have that equipped when you play Varian Ren. But anyway, um, against a control deck, they're gonna have answers and. The situation where you have like two or three big legendaries coming on the back of this is the situation where that stuff was stuffed in your deck, you haven't been playing it, it hasn't been in your hand, and your opponent really hasn't had to answer much, so they've just been building up this huge hand of removal cards. They got their Shadow Ward deaths, they got their light bombs, and this can actually backfire for you. If a light bomb blows up three of your guys, three of your best legendaries, including Varian, you just kind of got wrecked. <laughs> like, yeah, you you forced a response out of him, but now you just lost your best minions. Your best minions, they're all gone. Uh, and you have no control over it when you play Varian Ren. So you can easily put yourself in a field you don't want to have. Uh, a brawl. Uh, control Warrior versus Control Warrior. Brawl is also really good against this. Uh, he'll throw down an Armorsmith, which is the winner of the brawl 100% of the time, and you just lose your field, and you're like, wow, that sucked really bad. Now, I think it's a really good card, I think it's strong, but I don't think it's unbeatable. Against, say, a mill deck, this might actually screw you over really bad, because they'll have the answers for removal, they might just naturalize your stuff, bring you closer and closer to decking yourself out. But, I mean, you don't have to worry about mail decks too much. They're not really a thing right now. But they may be. They may be in the future. You always have to consider that possibility. Valian Ren. Um, in conclusion, I think this card is going to be run in... 80 to 100% of control decks. It also has possible combo with, say, a Warsong Commander, Grim Patron. If you get lucky enough to get both of those on the back of this... Or you already have one of those combo pieces on the board, and then you vary in men and get the second one on the board. That would be pretty sick. Um, you could easily go for the full board clear or something like that then. Uh, however, if you do play varying Ren outside of control decks, he is BGHable. And in the standard Grim Patron deck, he would be the only BGHable target. And that's not so great. I don't even think Grim Patron runs Dr. Boom right now. You could try to scale it up a bit to bring it back to like a Dr. Boom, Grimash, Hellscream, Varian, Ren, uh, Patron Warrior, but would that be good? I don't think so. I, I just don't think so because it costs 10 mana to play this guy. And he's a dead card until then. <sighs> it's not out of the question though because he can get you three spells as well. Drawing three is a big deal. It, it's, it's hard to say, but this card was made for Control Warrior, clearly. And it's one of the best legendaries in this expansion so far. Um, I'd say right up there with the Angel of Light and Angel of Darkness. Uh, who am I actually talking about? Let's just look them up. Uh, da, 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 da. I keep getting the names wrong. Idis Darkbane and Fiola Lightbane. Now, with them, I have an interesting idea. What if you played, like, Inner Rage and a Rampage deck with those two cards? Might be pretty good. But anyway, that's enough about Varian Rin. Is he going to be OP? I don't actually think he will be. I think this card is very strong when he works, but has the potential to screw you over, and the biggest drawback is he's a 10 mana card. So if you don't, if you draw him when you need an answer to the board, and it's not even turn 10, you're just like, oh, well, I guess I just lose then, don't I? Crazy effect, um, there's definitely going to be like some Jordan videos of uh, him coming into play, and it's just like four legendaries on the field, Ragnaros blows up everything. It's like the A-Team. Varian Ren just summons the A-Team. It's great. I uh, like this card a lot. Not OP. So I've been Dark Skeleton. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to let me know in the comments section down below. And aside from that, I will see you all next time.